In Decision 2014, we are less than a week out from Election Day, and a lot of big races in our region are in a dead heat. One of those is the third congressional district race between incumbent Nick Rahal and Republican State Senator Evan Jenkins. Today, Jenkins was joined by a well-known national figure, House Speaker John Boehner. They were talking coal, and they were doing it close to home in Canova. News Channel 3's Dan Griffin was there. Dan, this is a race centered very much around saving jobs and actually upping coal production. Well, Amanda, that was the target today as Evan right. Jenkins was joined by House Speaker John Boehner. We also caught up with Congressman Nick Rahal today to get a feel for what both candidates believe will happen when voters head to the polls Tuesday and both are confident they have the chops to save coal in West Virginia. The war is real. Uh, it is something this administration in Washington uh, charted a course six years ago and the impact is devastating. That was Evan Jenkins' big stance Wednesday, speaking out against EPA regulations alongside House Speaker John Boehner. Both stopped in Canova for a tour of River Trading Company's coal operations. Over the last six years, we've lost over 5,000 coal miners in West Virginia. It's a tight race for the third district congressional seat. The Cook Political Report, an independent agency evaluating the race considers it a toss-up. There's no one person in, as a member of Congress going to bring back all these coal jobs we've lost. We have to all work together. Nick Ray Hall can talk about his seniority, but he's just not getting the job done. Jenkins is taking aim at Nick Ray Hall's stance on a carbon tax and warns a vote for Ray Hall is a vote for President Obama and could mean more jobs will be lost in the coal fields. We asked House Speaker John Boehner if it was fair to blame the decline of coal jobs and production on President Obama alone. The president himself declared this a war on coal. Now I didn't have to, I don't make this stuff up. He said it. As far as what all the campaigning will mean for each of the candidates, it'll be up to the voters come Tuesday. There's a lot of new blood and it's an opportunity uh, to get a new representative from southern West Virginia. The West Virginians are not going to fall for it. West Virginia is not for sale. West Virginians know who Nick Rahal is. It comes down to who you can trust. Now, there are very few polls out for either of the candidates, but Rahal says he has a record of transparency and working for West Virginians. Amanda Evan Jenkins says he believes coal has a bright future, and today he said he will not write off the future of coal production. Really looking forward to Tuesday. It's going to be an interesting night. Dan, you thanks. Coal is in yeah, coal is not the only hot topic between the two. Just a few weeks ago, Nick Rahal and Evan Jenkins sparred over the Affordable Health Care Act during a debate.